you now are Doctors Jack and Rexella Van Empey. There are four countries that are coming together, and they're against the United States. And here is the first one, Russia. How far will he go? Putin's push to rechange and recharge Russia. Recharge us. There we see it. Time Magazine, U.S., Russia, tensions reach dangerous new level. Now, Jack, that's what you preached a long, long time ago. Going on, Pentagon, Russia flies multiple bomber missions. What? Near Alaska, are you kidding? Russia's brand new S-500 missile system to have unprecedented damage radius. Oh, and Russia's RS-28, Sarmat ICBM. Hypersonic disaster for the United States missile defense shield. Russia's military buildup. While they're modernizing its military and threatening its neighbors. My word. Below the radar, Russia's S-400 and S-500 set to become invisible to enemies. Wow. That is really something. They've come a long way, and they are certainly becoming almost number one in the world. Oh, and they are going to lead the Battle of Armageddon, Revelation 16, 16. How do I know that? Ezekiel chapters 38 and 39. And as I've told you a few weeks ago, we know that we are at that moment when we're going to hear the shout, come up hither, Revelation 4, 1, and we're going to meet Jesus in the twinkling of an eye, 1 Corinthians 15, 52, when we reach him in heaven because we've been evacuated and taken out of that horrible war before it happens. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. Uh, it's coming. Amen. And you know that the Wall Street Journal just had a weekly article that said, we believe that the bombs from four major nations, Russia, China, North Korea, and Iran, will all be hitting the streets of this country soon. And that's what I preached. What the Wall Street Journal is exactly what Van Impey preached 60 years ago. And I've been in it 70 years. Now, what was this all about? Ezekiel 38 and 39, verses 1 to 3. The word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set your face against Gog, the land of Magog, the Rosh, chief prince of Moscow and Tobolsk. And Tobolsk, of course, is southwest of Siberia. Oh, boy, what happens in the next chapter would be, I'll go against you, Gog of Magog. And this is the war of the latter days in the latter days, Ezekiel 38, verses 8 and 16. There's no end to it. Now, Russia is the main culprit. And you see how they're getting prepared, all the equipment, all the atomic facilities. They made a deal with Obama. Again, he's hurt the United States. And he agreed with Russia, you get rid of your missiles, we'll get rid of ours. We did it. They didn't. God help us if this thing called Armageddon breaks loose. But the wonderful part is we Christians aren't going to be here because Revelation 3.10 says, I will keep you from, and that's the Greek word, ek, out of the hour of testing that comes on the whole world. It's global. And again, the Word of God tells us so clearly that the reason we're going to be kept out of it and how it's going to happen is the rapture. And we're going to hear in Revelation 4, one, come up hither. And ladies and gentlemen, guess what? If you're saved, you're going to be taken out of here. I'll keep you out of that hour, which comes upon the whole earth, a promise from God. Pray that prayer today. Prepare to meet your God. Yes, that prayer. That's the most important thing that we could bring to you. The prayer of accepting Jesus Christ, Son of God, as your Savior. You know, he died for you, and I trust that you will accept his love, that you'll accept Calvary, accept his forgiveness, and become his child. Will you please pray this prayer with Jack of saying, Lord, I know I'm a sinner. Come into my heart. Jack. 
Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your son Jesus, dying and shedding that blood, that precious, efficacious, holy blood. And only that blood can wash away sin. For the rest of the blood's human blood and tainted by sin. But oh, Jesus, you came and you took that body and shed that precious blood for me. And the blood of Jesus, your book says, cleanseth from all sin. I don't care what you've done and how often you've done it. Lord Jesus, I trust you. Save me. Cleanse me. Take away all of my sin. I want to be ready for your coming. So, Jesus, this very moment, I'm saying, come into my heart, precious Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, amen. I made that decision when I was 17 years old, never regretted it, walking with the Lord the rest of my life. Now, if you made that decision, pray that prayer, write to me. There's my address. Please write it down in a hurry. First Steps in a New Direction will be in the mail. Wonderful book to read. To order Thy Kingdom Come, arriving soon, have your credit card ready and call toll-free 24 hours a day, 1-800-JBI-7777. To order by mail in the U.S., send your donation of $24.95 to Jack Vanapie Ministries, Box 704, Troy, Michigan, 48007. In Canada, send your donation of $24.95 to Jack Vanapie Ministries of Canada, Box 1717, Postal Station A, Windsor, Ontario, NINA6Y1. Now back to Rexella. I want to leave you with a comforting thought. Can you find comfort in a day like this? Trust God for today and prepare for tomorrow. How good it is to trust in Him. Look forward to being your home again next week. And until then, remember, God cares for you. So do we so very much. Bye-bye.